One of the most significant transits in astrology is the conjunction of Saturn, concretization of reality, and Pluto, intense power and transformation. These aspects occur more or less every 33 years, and in the last century were the background energy of World War I, Hitler's rise to power, Reaganomics, and 9-11. In such cases, there is a realignment of global or economic power, oftentimes due to an extreme ideological bent. We are in a similar moment when Saturn and Pluto conjoin in Capricorn on January 12th. As this conjunction is the last of its kind in Earth, where they have occurred since the early 1800s, we see that this may signal the final end of oil, coal, and heavy industry. It is also an imprint around empire, and with Britain's demise and America's loss of respect on the world stage, the end of the age of imperialism. And not a moment too soon as the paradigm of resource wars and subjugation of others is killing the planet. If you have a significant planet or angle at 22 to 24 degrees Capricorn or Cancer, and less so Libra and Aries, you might be directly impacted by this aspect, which oftentimes means a complete 180 in your life regarding career, relationships, life purpose, family. Even if it takes you by surprise, if you are honest, you have been sensing the need for change for quite some time. For some, it is a move into greater prominence and influence. The purpose of this transit is not to torment you, but to get you to shed aspects of yourself that have crystallized and no longer serve you. Out of death is a rebirth, and once the writing is on the wall and you know what you have to change, there will actually be a sense of relief and impetus to get into action. Of course, it seems that here in the U.S. we will be dealing with the fallout of Trump's policies and misbegotten acts, including his impeachment by the House of Representatives. The president's chart is challenged by this conjunction, and this could include health matters and declining influence, particularly if we experience a likely stock market crash. An economic collapse may be the only thing that wakes up the Trump cult, even though it will hurt those most in need. Yet, as mentioned, death is followed by rebirth, and there is the chance for the development of a new and fairer economic model. And however dire this sounds, and it may be amplified by an accompanying solar eclipse in Uranus station, Please note that we have lived through Saturn-Pluto transits before, with the last conjunction occurring in 1982. As always, being a grown-up and taking responsibility are key to your surviving and thriving at this time. For those who have dealt with emotional or financial crises before, and there are many of us, we are perfectly poised to handle this energy. Depending on your sign, structural problems will become evident to you here, prompting a need to allow a new paradigm to develop. So the issues may be with Aries, with your father, or your business. In the larger context, it's about the deconstruction or transmutation of the inner and outer authority figure. For Taurus, you may be dealing with this in your spiritual or religious affiliations. Its larger meaning is the need to develop an entirely different worldview that is decoupled from patriarchy. Gemini, you may encounter this with your sexual partners. It's about understanding that you've been following a faulty model about giving power away to a love object. For cancers, the issues will be with your significant other or business partner. In the larger context, it's discerning that you've imbued your partner with more authority than they deserve or actually possess. For Leos, it's happening in your day job interactions or with your lifestyle. This is about realizing that you have succumbed to an old paradigm of hierarchy and or judgment when it comes to living your life. It's about letting go of shame as to where you are in life right now. For Virgos, it's with your children, whether biologically or creative and artistic. It's about realizing that you've ascribed to a rigid model of what is the ideal child or their ideal art project. It's time to do it your own way. For Libra, the issues will be with your mother or home. The larger meaning is that she has held too much power in your inner life, including much shame and judgment, and time like Leo, it's time to let that go. For Scorpio, it's disruptions regarding your siblings or your neighbor or your best friend. You may be perhaps holding on to old ideas of how the world is, and you are no longer the same person, so you must open up your mind. For Sagittarians, the changes may occur in your salary house or your skill set. If you're working for corporations, there may be a decline in that area. The larger context is that you're giving others the power to determine your value, and you may be selling yourself to the wrong bidder. If self-employed, realize that no one knows what they're talking about and they should not be the ones to affect your self-esteem, regardless. For Capricorn, it's dropping the shroud of propriety and hierarchy. If you are the boss, you may be losing power. 
The larger context is redefining what sex success means. Even if formally successful, there is a new metric now. For Aquarians, you may be dealing with old nightmares of being overpowered. You may be ending addictions stemming from shame. The larger meaning is that you've been held captive by consensus reality thinking that does not nor ever applied to you. And for Pisces, it's about online communities and your former tribe may be dissolving. In the larger context, if these groups have played by old rules, they are no longer viable to the next chapter of your life. Most sensitive or moderately conscious people know something is really wrong with our world right now and have been living with a sense of doom. Whatever occurs this month will be the first shoe that drops. And it will actually mobilize us to make the necessary personal and political changes so that we can help birth a new nation that will arise from the ashes in 2024. It's a new year and a new decade and a decidedly new paradigm. So welcome 2020 with all its impending highs and lows. We have chosen to be here in this very dynamic period in human evolution, so you might as well enjoy the ride. I met astrologer Patrice Kamens.